we are witnessing unfolding here because God set darkness in motion. God has appointed a day. That's why we were commanded to count jubilees after Passover, which is a, a sign, a command from God that when we observe the, the ordinances that God commanded us to observe, Passover being one, we will begin the process of transformation. We will leave the Egypt of our own uh, personal existence, and we begin then our passage through the wilderness of the nations until finally we come to the high holy days when we blow the trumpet in the new moon. But those high holy days, metaphorically, happen in the West because just as Passover begins in the spring of the year, which is symbolic of those events that unfolded in the East 40 Jubilees ago or 2,000 years ago, we have now taken the passage of the sun where it is setting in the western ends of the earth. We come to the sign of the balances. We see the world is completely out of balance. But the, the, these are the works of God so that we could see what imbalance looks like. The rich are ruling over the poor, the powerful over the weak. And of course, for 2,000 years, males have been ruling over the feminine principle. That's why Paul, 2,000 years ago, says, Now the mystery of iniquity doth already work. The, e the wicked era, according to the Dead Sea Scriptures, is now beginning. And so in the course of this great epic mystery that would unfold here in the West, come to its perfect conclusion here in the West, both good and evil have been coming to their mutual states of perfection. And that's why the Scripture says that the day of the Lord will not come until the Antichrists are revealed. And these antichrists are being revealed in, in, in the collective presence of the rulers of the Western world. 